here. Next episode. Finale time. For the story at least. There's still plenty of other stuff to do. But I can record those for another time. Bass has a catchphrase. Do you know what it is? What is it? Something that makes you sad just thinking about it. Right? Run, Bass. Run, Bass. He always yells like this in emergencies. It seems like he learned it from some cartoon. He says that the louder he yells, the faster he can run. <sighs> the day of the explosion, his voice must have gone hoarse from yelling. He kept repeating, Run, Eve! Run, Eve! I can't run with these legs. I'm just a burden that everyone is forced to protect. It's okay. I will give you strength. Bass will always be with you as a toy. He now has the loudest voice. He can surely run fast. Faster than the explosion. Benna never forgot that I have prosthetics for half of my body. He just often mistakes me for Shanna. He's forgotten a lot of things, but that just makes him more like a child. Maybe the elderly are just a type of child. Your sorrow will be turned into power that can make him into a baby. As a baby, Benno would surely be treated well. Bone is the strongest, smartest, and bravest puppy I know. Hard to believe, right? He has such a small body, but always rushes to the front to protect me. This time, you can give him the sharpest teeth. No one can kick him away ever again. Polly, only the most perfect beautiful doll in the world is worthy of Polly. Yes, yes. Give me more sorrow, more longing. I promise you, she will always be the most beautiful doll. That's clearly not what you meant.
Why am I here? What did I want to do in the first place? It's the same layout. Papa! Tremble before me. You've got some nerve to show me all those hideous. Let's go, Citri. Got to face that boring, breathing bunch. Rest for eternity. you are. Citri, hold them off. You are. Holy shit, listen to this song. <laughs> no fuck. We're finally back to the normal heavy metal stuff. Some good overdriven guitars. Eve, I need more power. Give me more power. Stop her.
What the fuck is this?
Anna. Fake. Trusted. Huh. Take a walk. I wish that in my next life, I'll meet Eve again. By then. All right. Then I best hope Eve can make new f <laughs> Then let me make the last wish. Eve. Eve. No wolf. Are you that cotton doll? You look better than when you were a toy. This is no time for flirting, lady. Young mistress. I remember... I was celebrating Bone's birthday. I hurt you. I hurt many others too, didn't I? I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. As long as I leave here, everything will get better? I see. I see. As long as I leave here, Everything will get better. What will happen tomorrow? Only after you said all this do I realize that I haven't thought about this question for a long time. <laughs> the world you promise sounds wonderful. I like it. After going out, I can start a new life, meet new friends. I can also make a lot of toys. It'll be great. 
Thank you for bringing their voices to me, for letting me hear their wishes. Now, let me do something for you, too. I remember, Bone's birthday isn't over yet. It's time to light a birthday candle. I'll leave the outside world to you. Serpent, what are you doing here? Mr. Benna before he passed away. I'm sorry. There was a severe mania incident. These were all I could find. Mania? My god, is, is there any contamination on these? Why are you giving us that old man's stuff? It's bad luck! Don't say that. Mr. Benna cares a lot about his granddaughter, Shanna. Granddaughter? He doesn't have a granddaughter. He's just an old bachelor who makes up different stories every day. Yeah, exactly! His memory gets worse every year. We've been trying to avoid him for ages. Thank goodness he actually found a job and left. <laughs> you got scammed, didn't you? 
Aren't you his son and daughter-in-law? You must be mistaken. We really don't know this Benna, and there's no Shanna here. Miss, you better leave. And take these things with you. Hey, did you also just come out of that factory? Is there contamination on you too? Oh, stay back! If you come over, I'll, I'll call the sheriff! <sighs> Bass said he made a lot of friends here. He passed away unexpectedly. I wanted to visit on his behalf. Bass? Bass who? Don't you remember? A very tall, loud, and strong young man. Uh, hey, do you remember if we had someone like that? Let me think. A loud voice. Ah, are you talking about that buffoon? Bass? <laughs> so that's his name. Did he have any friends? Would someone so dumb even know what the word friend means? Maybe he thinks those who spat at him from upstairs are his friends. Uh, it seems that no one remembers him. Uh, miss? Where did she go? She moves pretty fast for someone in a wheelchair. <sighs> Kids go missing every day. Where do you expect us to find a kid who's been missing for over 10 years? Get out of here. Don't interfere with our work. <sighs> Maybe to you, he's just one of thousands of missing children. But he's Marissa's only child. What are you mumbling about? Pack up your stuff and leave. Don't come back. We can't help you. Holly really left nothing behind? Yeah, she left nothing. Everything was destroyed in that disaster. Isn't there compensation from the factory? How can she just die on us like that? Does that good-for-nothing girl want her little brother to starve? Little brother? Ah, oh, I mean, uh, Miss Eve, you can see that we're struggling to make ends meet. Uh, you are, after all, the daughter of the factory boss. Maybe you can... Why are you glaring at me like that? Okay, forget the compensation then. No need to be so hostile. Bone? I'm throwing you your last birthday party. Actually, this birthday party shouldn't exist either. But I promised to take you for a walk. I'm afraid I can't fulfill that promise now. I always feel like I owe you something. Let me make it up to you at the birthday party. You won't blame me, will you? bear. The fire. It must be a mess outside. But luckily, things didn't get worse. I'm sorry. I must have caused you a lot of trouble. Apart from my family members, you are truly the nicest person I've ever met. Her first impression, the first impression we made to her was us trying to use her own family, fake family, as leverage against her. But sure. You didn't abandon me, nor did you deceive me for ulterior motives. Technically... The future you offered is so beautiful. I was almost convinced. But then I remembered I've heard about such a beautiful future many, many times. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I've already secretly gone to see the world outside the factory. Turns out, it's all fake. Even faker than the toy families pretending to be real. Turns out, 
everyone is a liar. Loyal friends, loving family members, the kindness of the world. None of these exist outside. Holy fucking shit, what happened to Oliver? There's a fire going on. They're in danger. <sighs> Maybe I really could meet new people and start a new life. It's strange, as opposed to those small possibilities that haven't happened yet. I prefer the old, prefer to stay in place, prefer liars. Things are fine the way they are now. It's swallowing my obsession of staying here forever. I can't let go of this obsession, but I can let go of myself. This is fine. This way, everyone can escape. You have friends, family, hopes, and a future too, right? Go find them. I'm fine. After all, I never really had anything. This time, I can truly reunite with my family. It's been a long time since someone cared about me and talked to me this much. You should be careful too. The fire is hot. When it burns you, it hurts. <sighs> Please tell your friend that I thank her for liking my toys. But I won't be making toys anymore. This time, we can truly stay together. I'm going home. Oh my god, I have PTSD from that line.
Chief, the injured are being accounted for and treated one by one. The fire was quite intense. Right now, we still haven't found the sinners you mentioned. No. We can only continue the search after the disaster is under control. I firmly believed that Chief would come out safely. Is the east side, is a certain east side firefighter here helping? Hopefully not actually. See? I told you that Pepper is the biggest badass in this city. I really made a big hullabaloo this time. I brought so many people out. They were scared to death when they saw that Pepper and Eureka were both sinners. Chief, Chief! Aside from the factory, I found another fun place. Wanna go next time? Let's go together! Please! Please! You're grounded. Pepper says she's fine, but it's better to have her checked out. Chief, we can leave the rest to the fire crew and rescue team. The Ninth Agency is waiting for your report on this incident. We should go back. Yikes, ain't that reality for you? Dramas come and go. A momentary burst of excitement, of emotions for people to feel and talk and feel as if they, their choices and their feelings have meaning. And it's gone and forgotten literally a day after. And of course, although it seems like a lot of people know it, in the end, it's just another news, another statistic, nothing else. <laughs> PTSD. Crusher, holy shit. Well, I have time. I know what I want to do. For the bonus content. The interrogations are coming later. Ah, 
The boss fight is still until tomorrow. Dang it. You're here too. Don't mind me. I'm just looking for a peaceful place to stay. The cruelty of the real world always catches people off guard. So why not stay here and wallow in this beautiful moment with me? I gotta pee and I still have to do my Genshin dailies. We'll go transfer the files over and I'll do this, I'll do the interrogation while AFKing in Minecraft maybe.